What's going on, beautiful people? Today we've got a brand new tactic. It is going to be Onslaught's 4231 that he uses at Fire Nord. It absolutely cooks in the game. It went two seasons invincible. We scored over three goals a game, and we actually won a game in 12 0 fashion. It's absolutely ridiculous. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Let's get into this. First up, and the hot topic of the video is going to be with Fire Nord, obviously over in the Dutch League. But we put on the Dutch treble season a really good display. The Johan Cruyff Shield, we're going to win in 4 0 fashion over PSV. A very, very good team to be beaten by that amount of goals. The Dutch Cup, we are also going to win against FC Twente in 3-1 fashion. Not as hard of a final, but we are going to take it. That is already two trophies coming our way. And obviously the Dutch League, as mentioned, an invincible season. Yes, we had seven draws, but still obviously going to be invincible. We're going to be first and second when it comes to the top goal scorers, first and second when it comes to the average rating. And it is going to be Stengs coming in with 13 assists, who I will say is absolutely incredible in this game. We also pick up the most clean sheets with Bilal contributing with that, so hats off to him. Going over to the stats, we are going to feature in almost everything. The most points per game, the most goals, the most shots, the fewest shots against. Possession-wise, we're not going to be rank one, but still got quite a respectable stat line at 60% of the ball. The most dribbles being made, the fewest conceded, and of course, the most clean sheets. But of course, over to the date hub, it is going to be 2.82 goals per game, only 0.56 conceded, 17.47 shots per game, and over a 90% pass completion. Now, I will say, although it is very defensively solid, it's not like a Simone, obviously negative defensive football, you aren't going to concede too many goals because you're going to be dominating possession. So it's a really good way of playing football and a ton of fun. And we will watch that Dutch Cup final. As you can see here, we got off to a flyer of a start, Stengs into Hanko. And by the way, I'm going to be releasing that set piece video. I'm partly there with it. We use some of them in this video for this tactic and they do cook as it is going to be a great ball there and it is going to be Linga who goes through and tucks that away. They do get a goal to bounce back to be fair to make it 2-1 but to be honest with you it wasn't really a threat and after this went in I switched to the defensive tactic and we sealed it out and actually went on and scored on the counter attack. Down the left hand side Lopez picks it up, got a look to go inside, a great ball in and a fantastic header. Up next and the real powerhouse of the video that is going to be Paris Saint-Germain obviously over in France but we win the quadruple being the French League, the Champions League in 4-1 fashion over Manchester United. The French Cup coming in as well against when the game decides to load against Monaco in 3-1 fashion and also the Trophy de Champion against Toulouse in 4-1 fashion. Every single final to be made to look easy by us in this league. And of course going over to the league table, again invincible season, 30 wins, only 4 draws. Ramos outscores Mbappe Mbappe, Asensio and Dembele first, second and third with the highest average rating. Assist wise Mbappe and Hakimi make the top 3 and Don Donnarumma contributes with the most assists. Now, of course, going over to the team stats, most points per game, most goals, fewer shots against, most shots, most possession, most dribbles made, fewest conceded, and the most clean sheets. We only lost in two stats, and only one of them I would have wanted, which is the pass completion. Merely a perfect sweep. Unfortunately, not quite, but still absolutely ridiculous and what is ridiculous is this schedule tab if we look at this we can actually get an indicator of some of these games it was real good stuff coming from all of the team and what i will say is we had a blowout game here a 12 nil win i have not seen a i've not seen a game like that despite it being psg in quite some time 12 nil absolute dominance from this team on the screen as you're seeing data hub wise it's going to be phenomenal 3.09 goals per game 0.47 conceded 18.71 shots a game approaching 19 that a great pass completion and of course attack win ratio also looking quite pretty just shy of 80. Well you've got to watch the Champions League final if you get to it and to be fair to Manchester United they got off to a flyer inside of five minutes but what I've done is we come back of course we do and Mbappe sticks away a penalty in the 18th minute and before half time Manchester United decided to do what they do in real life and collapse big time as Marco Asensio goes through absolutely everybody and slots it into the bottom left and literally a minute afterwards we build up again with some fantastic Fantastic play using every area of the field. Beautiful play, in fact. Put it past Onana again to make it 3-1 in the first half. And time for one more before the wrap of these highlights. Mason Mount doing Mason Mount things. Loses it. Virginia sticks it in the net. We'll take it. Now, I've had a viewer of mine comment a lot about getting Sunderland in a video. So this is for you. Sunderland come in. Now, I will say, cup-wise, we weren't the best. But league-wise, we were absolutely ridiculous, which is good to see. Only losing five out of a potential 46, winning 30, and, of course, drawing the other 11 games. We don't only get promoted. We actually win the whole lot. Southampton finish in second, and Hull win the playoffs, which is a bit of an interesting one. In terms of the stats, we're not going to be as dominant, of course. We're not as of a strong team in the relative 
competitive league. We are, however, going to be second with the highest average rating with Roberts, who also got 20 assists in the league. Now, despite not being the most convincing team when it comes to defensive work, we still somehow maintained the best clean sheet record at 20. So still very, very good. And it gets backed up here with the most clean sheets. We're also going to be looking at the most goals outscoring Norwich Hull, Ipswich, Southampton, Leeds, Blackburn, Bristol by quite some amount. The only team that was really close is Norwich, only three goals shy. But overall, a ridiculous season, also obviously having the most points. The Date Hub as well should look quite cool as well. 2.26, very, very good indeed. Under a goal conceded, which we love to see with a team like this. A fantastic pass completion, over 12 shots a game, and a tackle win ratio of 74.62. This is why I always say, please comment, guys, any teams you want to see featured in these videos, even if it's not to recreate their manager, I'll get them in a test. If you support the team, it's quite cool to see them how they do in the game. And last game of the season, we give Sheffield Wednesday a bit of a battering. We are at home, to be fair, but we got off to an absolute flyer of a start. It would have been a penalty anyway, but 1-0 inside of 27 minutes. Now all the way into the second half, three minutes after that um, half-time whistle, Neil into bar, cut inside, and an elegant finish into the bottom right-hand corner. But there's two more goals to come. You know how we do on this channel. We're going to play it around the back. Very fast-paced football. Ball over the top, into Dak. Doesn't even take a touch. Hits it into the ground and blasts it past Charles. We go again now down the right-hand side. It's going to be Ballard. Loads of space to drive into. Pause. Look at the players in the box. That's what I love about Arnslot's style. So aggressive when it comes to the attacks. We've got endless options. Who's it going to go to? Hume is going to play it across. It's a little bit lucky, but I'm not complaining. Lastly, over to the second tier of Dutch football, we are going to go in with Telstar, a team predicted to finish in 12th place. We didn't win the league, I am being honest, but we did get promoted. So do you know what? It's still a very, very good season. We only lost six games at the end of the day. Weren't too far behind first place either. Only five points in it. The Dutch Cup wasn't too impressive this season, I will be honest. And as you can see, in terms of the stats, it's going to be very similar to Sunderland. The most clean sheets, the most average rating, and obviously the most assists. Pick it up 19. Stat-wise, again, we are going to feature in the most goals. So goals-wise, we are really in the peck and order, really in the favour to finish rank one with any team in the game. Fewer shots against, the most dribbles, and of course, the most clean sheets. And to be honest, as a general rule of thumb, if you're scoring the best amount of goals and getting the most clean sheets, you're going to be winning a lot of your games. It's quite common sense at the end of the day. Data hub wise, it is going to be 2.32 goals a game, only just above by 0.8 over a goal a game conceded. Over 12 shots a game, the pass completion maintains the same standard, despite having obviously weaker players. It's a real good solid solid, well-rounded tactic for all levels. Let's watch some Telstar highlights. We didn't struggle against the best in the league. The team which did finish first, we actually beat 4-0 away from home. So we missed, we messed up against some of the smaller teams in the league. It happens in football. And as you can see, we weren't just scoring lucky goals against first in the league. We were absolutely battering them, having our way with them, going down the right, getting it back in the middle, loads of space, loads of energy. And just loads of quality. They simply couldn't match it. One more goal to come in now. Just in the 82nd minute. We're going to play it through the middle. Loads of space on the right. He gets found. Cuts inside. What a finish. And you might be asking yourself, Josh, does this work on console or mobile? Yeah. It does. It works on both. You can get them obviously over on the Patreon. Loads of you guys have come over already and absolutely hyped them up. So hopefully I see a few more of you over there because you seem to be loving them and you can get your requests in directly for mobile and console. Now what I will say is we absolutely cooked over on console. I think we actually match what we've done obviously on the PC, winning the Dutch treble. Being in the Dutch league a lot more comfortably though to be fair. I mean if we look at this right now we only lost three games out of 34. Yes Ajax had a decent season but other than them there was no competition at all. Speaking of competition, the Dutch Cup, we are going to win 5-0. Absolute dominance there. And the Cruyff Shield 3-1 fashion over PSV. What we're not afraid of is scoring goals. 2.38, only 0.74 conceded, an 89% pass completion and over 15 and a half shots every single game. So it's safe to say, PC tick, mobile tick, console tick. It's the treble. Ironic, right? Of course, if it's your favourite part of the video, the tactic breakdown, be sure to smash the like button. Let's get this to 90 likes. It helps the channel out massively. And be sure to keep commenting on teams or managers you want to see recreated. Now, I will say, if you want to come and join the other 3,200 people, you can come over and join the Patreon. We get all of these perks on the screen. You obviously get all three of the tactics. You get the mobile, you get the console tactics, you get them early, you get priority, you get the rebuild files, you get the giveaways, which at the moment is a massive giveaway. A lot of people have signed up for that alone. So you can check it out in the description below. Come and say hello. Join the gang. There's absolutely loads of us. But let's go over and talk about Onslaught's 4-2-3-1. It's going to be a sweeper keeper simply set to defend. Nothing too much special about 
about the goalkeeper in the system. Just basically be a goalkeeper. Nothing too extravagant. A wing back on the right is going to be set to support on run wide and also sit narrower. Sit narrow works very well in this system. So please do not change it because it honestly makes his defense very, very solid. A ball playing defender on the right is going to be set to the default, as is the left hand side. And on the left, we are going to have a wing back again, but on defend on the default. Why is he on defend? Because on this side, the inverted winger is a lot more attacking than the support winger on the right hand side of the field. And also, we're a bit more pushed up with the Valante on the left hand side. Going to that wonderful midfield, the DM is going to be on support, simply on tackle harder. And next to him is going to be Valante on support, on dribble more, get further forwards, and move into the channels. Again, I wouldn't really faff about with changing these um, team instructions, or play role, should I say, sorry, because these two work really, really well as a pair. If you have to, and I mean you have to, you could go with something, for example, like a Roman playmaker or a Regista. If you have got a Volante, I would recommend sticking with it. On the left is going to be an inverted winger on attack. On shoot more often, only have this on if your winger is somewhat decent at shooting. Run from position and, of course, close down more. And on the right, we're going to have the winger on take more risks, cross from the byline and close down more. Going into the middle is going to be that attacker midfield player on attack. On roam, move into the channels and, of course, close down more. And lastly, it is going to be the pressing forward, something you can definitely not change in this system. And that is simply going to be on attack. Now, the importance of this role here is absolutely massive you need to have him i would not opt for a shadow striker in a default variant because this just links to go it links together the play really really well roaming about from pocket to pocket lovely space for the volante to move up into as well which is why he is situated over to the right hand side but let's go over to the team instructions custom gagan press on the positive the positive mentality we're going to leave this in the middle we're going to overlap right to really get that fullback involved or that wing back sorry involved on the right hand side we're going to go with shorter when it comes to the directness we're going to go slightly higher when it comes to the tempo we are going to opt for be more expressive we're going to change this to the low crosses and we are also going to work the ball into the box it's quite basic it's quite fluent and it's not too risky either so you're going to have good levels of possession but also it's got enough about it to go out and score those vital goals in transition it's going to be nice and simple we're going to take short goal kicks to the center backs while counter attacking and simply having a counter press very important we've got those on i'll see you in a bit to talk about out of possession we are going to go with the high pressing line of engagement a nice standard line more often when it comes to the press if your players have got the energy to do it and you're desperate for a goal you can max that out of course all the way to much more often but to go into your games more often prevent short goalkeeper distribution we are going to get stuck in and we're also going to step up more now to the much needed attacking variant so again it is going to be a similar shape but some things are going to be tweaked to obviously be a little bit more out there and basically improve your chances of scoring a goal so the keeper does remain the same the wing back on the right also remains exactly the same as does both of the ball playing defenders because we are trying to take more risks we are not going to have a defensive wing back we're going to have him on support which means he is going to naturally get further forwards and speaking of getting further forwards the volante is now going to be set to attack so he is really going to drive into that midfield on dribble more and move into the channels hence why we have not made any changes to that dm because he can still lock off and protect that deeper area of midfield now on the right is going to be the winger who obviously was on support. He is now going to be on attack on close down more. The inverted winger on the left remains exactly the same. A shadow striker does come in for the attack and variant because what will happen is this will actually shape up like a 4-2-4. When you're on a counter attack, this player will naturally drift over here. The shadow striker will obviously almost get in this little pocket here. Your wingers will be quite wide. The left will cut inside and these two here will form a nice 4-2-4 shape. So it's very sort of transitional, very good to see. You can actually see the formation physically change. Him. And up front is going to be the advanced forward simply on attack. And to do all this, is still going to be the Gagan press on the positive. But when it comes to in possession, we are going to have a little change that is going to be the addition of obviously passing it into the space, overlapping left, overlapping right. So the big change there is also getting the left back involved. This remains the same. The tempo is going to be maxed out, a little bit more urgency to the game. We're obviously going to have been more expressive still on. This remains the same because we don't need to change it. What I will say is, if we talk in the last couple of minutes of the game, and I mean the last couple of minutes if you're confident in your player's ability in terms of shooting you can have shoot on sight on and four shots at the goal that is a little bit of advice from me to you in transition the only change is going to be the addition of distribute quickly nothing too much to talk about and lastly out of possession of course we are going to look to up that line from standard to higher the one real big change there alongside of maxing out that trigger press now this is just going to push that team up the field a little bit more and the addition of that little bit added trigger press is going to be the much needed thing now to go and over to the defensive tactic you also are going to need this because at the end of the day if you're a goal or 
two up, you want to slow the pace down or just defend a simple 1-0 lead, you need this to do so. So it is going to be the goalkeeper who is going to be a sweeper keeper simply on defend. A wing back on the right is going to be on defend on sit narrower as is the left back. Now what's going to happen is these wing backs are going to be very narrow, obviously, hence the team instructions. They're going to be very close to the ball playing defenders and it's going to be very hard for any opposition to actually get a shot inside the box to even get into the box is going to be quite a complicated process. Both of the ball playing defenders remain exactly the same and it is a very negative, I will say negative back line, but that is because naturally this 4-2-3-1 is quite attacking anyway. So sometimes you need to lock off the back four and to help do that, we've got two DMs on the right on tackle harder and the left exactly the same. Now, obviously, you're not going to have as much positivity going forward. This DM will sometimes drift in this area here. Not as often, though. So it is going to be two players to pretty much protect the back four. And that is why we can afford to have, for example, the inverted winger on the left on support, the winger on the right on support on the default, and not worry about dragging them back as well. They can stay up the pitch and do what they've got to do, as can the attacking midfield player on support this time on Rome and move into channels. And even the press and forward can remain up there simply on support. Now, there is a little bit of change still based off the Gagan press, but it is going to be on balance. That is balance when it comes to the mentality. This remains the same. However, we are not going to overlap, obviously. We're still going to play out from the back. The big change is the directness. We're going to go to much shorter. We're going to dribble less, and the tempo is going to remain the same. Now, dribble less and much shorter equals possession. Simple as that. Very hard to get the ball off you, and that's exactly what we want to do when we're trying to seal a game out. This remains exactly the same. Low crosses and work ball into the box because there's no real need to change it. In transition, again, it's going to be a little bit different. So we are going to counter press as to be expected, but we're not going to counter attack. We're not desperate for goals. We're going to hold the shape, compress the team, play it side to side and frustrate opposition. And we're going to play to anyone across the back line while taking short goal kicks. And lastly, nice and simple, out possession, very, very basic, actually. Standard, the high press and line of engagement, standard when it comes to the trigger press. And we are also going to prevent short goal keeping distribution because at the end of the day, we have got a pressing forward and three other players quite pushed up that field. And that's going to complete for you boys and girls on slots 4 2 3 1. Now you're going to get the default, the attacking, and the defensive all over on the Patreon. You get them early and all this other cool stuff. You can copy them click for click, which is why I keep them in the videos. If you have enjoyed, please leave a like. It helps out massively. And consider subscribing. Turn on that wonderful notification bell. Have a great day. I'll be seeing you in the next one.